everyone. So today's haul is going to be for the To The Beach collection. This was released last week, last Thursday. I actually posted the pics on my blog, but um, I wanted to actually film a video, except I hadn't had the time. I was working for like the whole week until today. Today was my day off, so um, this is what I got. I got quite a bit from this collection. I was really happy with it. I think that the packaging is really pretty. And there's a couple things that like you must see, at least look at, I guess. And um, that one of them would be Marine Life. This is a highlight powder. I'm not planning to use this anytime soon because the gold shimmer that's infused in the powder it does come off so this is going to be my backup to something else that I'm going to show you later on this is so pretty it was sold out within a couple of hours upon its release so um, this is really hard to find except if your Mac still has it then I would totally check it out it's really pretty even when the gold sparkle wears off it's still like the seahorse is still like embedded into the powder. So that's going to be my backup for this. This is Hypnus Powder Blush and they're almost the same color from what I've heard and from what I've seen swatches and everything. This one is just a little bit um, less pigmented. The other one is more intense but um, that one is really pretty and I, I just don't want to use it right now. This is Hypnus blush and this came out with Fafi is really pretty I think that it's a color that will work well on a lot of people's skin tones it's just a really pretty coral pink color next thing I got was this bronzing powder in refined golden this is the packaging really pretty it's like um, a corally orange color from pictures that I saw online I thought that it was gonna look like neon orange or something like neo sci-fi but it's more of a coral but this is refined golden and this is permanent I just wanted it for the packaging because I collect these compacts I am wearing it today but I don't really know if you could tell the next thing I got let's see, was this eyeshadow in Sweet and Punchy. This is the packaging. It has a shell on it. And this is a Luxe Pearl. This is very similar to Rated R eyeshadow. If you own Rated R eyeshadow, I think they're almost identical. But it's essentially just a chartreuse green color and I don't have anything in my collection like it um, I do have bitter though and that's kind of similar to it there's another eyeshadow that came out with Cult of Cherry and it kind of is similar to this too if you own the Tempting Quad let's see what else I got this eyeliner coal in Float On By And that's the packaging. It's basically like a teal eyeliner. There's a lot of eyeliner colors that are similar to this. Um, there's some from Urban Decay. But I don't own a MAC color like this. It's really pretty. This is one of my favorite colors actually. So there's this one eyeliner from Annabelle called Curacao. And it's pretty much the same color. This is $3.99. That's what it looks like. They kind of look different, but they're pretty much the same color when you put it on your eyes. Except for this one. It doesn't glide on as well as the MAC one does. So, yeah. This is $17.50, I think. Yeah, it's the same price as the eyeshadow. So I'm going to move on to the lip products. The first one would be Fun Bathing. This is the packaging. It's orange. I actually got Fun Bathing today. And same with the bronzing powder. I just, I came back 
let's look at it again. And my mom actually bought this as well. So it does look really scary in the tube. Actually, like, it looks way too dark for me. But when you swatch it, here, I'll swatch it. It's a cream sheen, and it's pretty sheer. It's kind of a berry plum color. So it's not that bright, or it's not too dark. It's really nice. I'm looking forward to trying it. The next one is Thrills. It looks like this. I don't have any colors like this. It's kind of a coppery red coral color. And this is a frost. That's what it looks like. If you do go for any of the lipsticks, I would highly suggest getting Thrills because I don't think MAC has anything like it in the permanent line, so, and it's really pretty. It's really pretty on your lips, and yeah. This, the next one is called Lazy Day, and it looks like that. It's a very muted, wearable pink color. I'll swatch it right there. And this is a luster, so it does go on sheer. It's right there. I've heard people comparing it to Viva Glam Lady Gaga, but they are totally different. This is Lady Gaga, and this one is Lazy Day. They're totally different. This one is more of a wearable beige tone pink, and this one is a blue tone pink. And it's more intense. I'll swatch Lady Gaga right beside it. See, as you can tell, there's a big difference. That one is Lazy Day, and that one is Lady Gaga. And I've heard people comparing it to Blooming Lovely. Come on. Those two are totally different. That one is like purple, lavender color. And this one is pink. So I'm not even going to bother swatching that for you. They're just totally not the same color at all. The next thing I got was Splashing. This is the lip gloss. Oh yeah, this is the packaging. Orange. And it has a seahorse on it. It is the more darker tone pink because the light, the lighter pink, it was really pretty. But when I swatched it, it was clear with like silver sparkles in it. You can find a lot of colors like that. Even if you like go to the drugstore or something, you could pretty much find a dupe for that. So this is splashing right there. It's really pretty. It has like gold shimmers in it. Next one is Flurry of Fun. And oh my god, this color is so pretty. Same packaging. It's orange, orangey coral, I would say, and it has like teal shimmers in it. It's so pretty. It has like a dual chrome. But there, I hope the camera is picking it up. It is so, so, so pretty. Okay, so that's all I got from the collection. There's a few things that I already had that are being repromoted. The first thing would be the Luster Drops. This is in Pink Rebel. And this came out with Style Warriors last year. I mixed this with my foundation. And it makes my skin have this like healthy glow. And it's But it's right there. This one is Shimmer Moss right here. And this one is Humid. I got these a couple weeks ago and just in pan form because this is a swatch for humid. It's right there. That is a really pretty color. I think it's... And Shimmer Moss looks like this. Watch. Right there. And this doesn't appear like to me what in the pan it looks blue, but when you put it on your skin it comes off of a more seafoam green green kind of color. And I'm wearing those two today. It's a shimmer moss humid and the right smoke, these three colors, this one, this one, and this one. So that's it for my haul. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm going to have...
be filming another haul today actually for other stuff that I got that wasn't related to this collection. So I hope you guys enjoyed and um, subscribe. <laughs> Bye everyone.